Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and checking out this video. This video is a huge homework scandal haul. Oh my gosh, and I mean huge. <laughs> I have two, three, I have five boxes sitting next to me. These are all from QVC. Uh, just a little warning, I have a bunch of homework scandals, hauls, hopefully reviews coming at you. I went a little crazy. QVC had, okay, so I wrote it down. QVC had 10% back on Rakuten or Rakuten, whatever. It's the cash back service that you use when you shop online. My link is always in the bio if you've never signed up or the description. And then they were having free shipping and things were on sale. So I have a bunch here. I was actually waiting on one more set of candles, but it's not gonna be here until late October. I ordered it in August and it's not gonna be here until late October. So I was like, forget it, we'll just film it and I'll just tell you what that one is. That one is the cinnamon French toast. So let's get into with what I have here. I have no particular order. I'm just pulling from the boxes. So they come, QVC ships them out all in individual boxes. So if it's a duo or a trio, there's either two or three candles in the box and then they come with cardboard crates and styrofoam on top. So the first one I'm pulling out here is a duo of coconut shortbread. This one I was so on the fence about. So looking at the name, I'm like, yes, coconut shortbread. Are you kidding me? A creamy bakery coconut? Yes, ma'am. Sign me up. Write my name on the list. But then if you flip it over and you read the notes, this is fresh coconut milk, buttery shortbread, lemon zest, and vanilla. So they like to throw that little bit of lemon in there. So um, online, people were saying that they either got the lemon and it was good or they didn't get the lemon at all and it was still good. So I just decided to pick it up for myself. Now I believe Lori said that she did smell lemon, Lori Brown here on YouTube. I 100% get lemon, absolutely I get lemon. And for me, I don't know if I love that in this coconut scent, um, mainly because when I like my lemons, I like my lemons to be like very bright. I'm not a huge bakery lemon person. I like them to just be more like zesty and fresh. So for it to be in a, you know, a bakery candle, I'm a little com like conflicted, but the, the label is absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is how it's a four wick always comes with the wick protector and then a dust cover. That I think is a bit excessive, a little bit uh, wasteful, but whatever. It keeps the candle safe. It's a pretty like coming off white, but it's more yellow, like creamy. And this is a really nice shortbread coconut scent with lemon. So I'm interested to see how much this comes out when it's warmed because it is really, really pretty. I think that a duo of it is a bit much. I don't think I really need two of them but again I have to warm it I have to see and you know maybe it could transform into something absolutely incredible when warm but on cold 100% get the lemon it's a buttery coconut shortbread with lemon so we're gonna see I actually think that one would be nice now because the lemon is kind of lemon's not transitional but it's it's more than just a basic bakery you know what I'm saying so that one's good so I have the prices on that one that one was Originally $48.62, it was on sale for $43.43, 10% back, and then free shipping. This is one thing I did want to mention is QVC and their pricing on Homeworks makes zero sense to me. I mean, absolutely zero. Some duos are priced at $48.42. Some are priced at, like, I don't know, 45, some are priced at 48. It's so confusing to me. And I get it, obviously different um, packaging would equate to a different price, but they're the same classic Homeworks packaging and the pricing is all over the place. So you gotta kind of have to keep your eye out on QVC because they like to play tricks with their pricing. So just be forewarned. <laughs> all right, the next one I have is a trio. So, Ooh, 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 I love this one. This one is the fall favorites. So this one was priced originally at $49.50. It was on sale for $44.98 and then free ship 10% back. So this is a trio. I believe this is the Today Special Value. Don't quote me on that for September or August or something. But these are the smaller 
three wick candles. Oh, there goes the wick protector. But this is, uh, what are they, 14, 14 ounces. So half an ounce smaller than like a regular three wick that we all know and love. But these are gorgeous. A classic Homeworks fluted bottom, beautiful ornate gold lids. It matches the gold foiling, orange outside, and then an orange inside. Oh, there goes the wick cover. But yeah, these are gorgeous three wicks. So this one is Golden Harvest Pumpkin. Set notes on this one are whipped pumpkin, fresh cardamom, spiced maple rum, cinnamon, vanilla, marshmallow. So there's a lot going on. Whipped pumpkin, fresh cardamom, spiced maple rum, cinnamon, vanilla, marshmallow. But I think this is beautiful, you guys. Oh, I'm gonna, it's a little light on cold, so I'm just gonna like rub it. This is a pumpkin. It almost smells like a whipped pumpkin. Is that what it says? Oh my God, whipped pumpkin. That was definitely like put in my brain from what I read. <laughs> It's a soft pumpkin, but you definitely get the cardamom and the spiced maple rum. I don't necessarily get like an ooey gooey maple. I get the spices from that. Not necessarily boozy. No, not because I don't really like booze in my candles. And then as for the cinnamon vanilla marshmallow, no, but this is a gorgeous pumpkin. It is not too spicy. It's really, really pretty. Oh gosh. And this, this is just gorgeous. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. Yeah, this one is, this one is a pumpkin that I think is more of like a universal type of pumpkin where it's not so spicy, you know, it's really truly smells like a fluffy pumpkin filling of, with some spices. That's, that's really, that's really what she smells like. She smells good. Okay. Then we have crimson leaves again gold and gold this one is red and red this is freshly fallen leaves mold spices golden persimmon and fur needle mm. oh that fur needle gorgeous I did already like get in here because this is a bit weird to my nose so when I think of leaves Maddie honey Maddie Maddie all gone all gone she thinks she sees something all gone okay so crimson leaves this when I think of leaves I think of obviously leaves I think of that outdoorsy spicy but like those I don't know I just think of leaves right this is fruity to me this is like a fruit that has been sitting on the like fallen off the tree and is sitting on the ground I get an earthy vibe from this that's where I'm getting like the fruit that's been sitting on the ground not necessarily like rotten but maybe kind of close I don't know this one doesn't I don't love this I don't get any fur needle thank god but this one, this one I don't like. So I don't get freshly fallen leaves. I really get the persimmon, which I believe is a fruit. And then the mold spices and then like just an earthiness to it. I guess that's where that leaves comes in. But I don't love this. This one is not for me. I don't think this will be like a, a cult favorite. I don't think that this one will be a mass, you know, something that people are going out and hoarding. It's different. I for sure don't own anything quite like that. But not my favorite and unfortunately with these trios like you have to buy all three that's the whole purpose what's going on with this bun back here yikes okay uh then we have deep dish apple pie oh this one's yellow yellow just makes everybody happy gold wax well yellow wax and the scent notes on this one are if i flip it over gooey apple nectar cinnamon vanilla pie crust It smells like an apple pie. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh yeah, that is, that is good. <laughs> Man, that is really yummy. Wow. You actually do get a slight crust note in here. 
I know that that's very hard for candles to pull off, um, like or companies to pull off is that crust note, but I, I do, I get like a baked crust note in here. I, this smells like, it smells like what, like that bottom layer of pie crust after it's like soaked in all that juicy, like goo from the apples after it's been baked and the cinnamon and the sugar and the nutmeg. Yeah, this smells like gooey apple nectar, cinnamon and pie crust. <laughs> I, I really, really like this. I think this one is going to be like my Thanksgiving candle because it just, this is like a crowd pleaser, I think. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's really, really good. And it's strong too. Very strong. So that one's great. So the trio, I loved this pumpkin and the apple. The leaves, not so much. So what a, I would repurchase that, but the leaves is making me like, very hesitant to repurchase that um just because it really doesn't smell that good <laughs> uh yeah i think that that one i i may try to burn it but i also may try to gift it i always just keep certain candles that i get that are not my favorite in a, in a little closet and then they are they're banned to be gifted <laughs> and let somebody else enjoy them that will like it more than me Okay, the next one is another trio here. So this one is the, oh, did I, did I tell you the prices on that? Yeah, the fall favorites was $49.50 on sale for $44.98. So this one is the Country Inn Trio. This is originally $66.50. It was on sale for $53.98 and then 10% back, free shipping. So oh, these lids, I love you guys. They're actually textured. It looks like wood, it feels like wood. Oh, these are gorgeous. So this one is Tree Farm Lane. Really pretty. I like these labels, I think, more than I like the like the previous one where they're all the same. I don't know. I just love the differences that these give. I think they're really pretty. So this is Blue Spruce, Balsam Fir, White Pine, and Fresh Juniper. We all know that I'm not a huge tree person, but come Christmas time, I do burn tree scents because I have a fake tree. And it's just Christmas. So I will burn tree scents one month out of the year. Just one. Nothing more after that. <laughs> so, oh, it smells like Christmas. <laughs> this is for, these are four wicks. So that's why these were originally uh, $66.50 because these are the four wicks. But I think getting it for $53.98 is such a steal because I, my thoughts are I never want to pay more than $20 max for these guys because that's just my prefer my personal candle budget that they like the personal preference of how much I want to spend on a candle so if I can that's how I look at it is if I can get a set a duo a trio whatever for less than $20 a candle I'm in that's my personal that's why I said you have to watch QVC because they like to get a little tricky on you but yeah that's that's why I throw that out there okay so this is gorgeous green wax this smells like a Christmas tree it smells like a straight up Christmas tree. There is nothing else to it. It smells like that blue spruce, balsam fir, and white pine all mixed together to give you the most gorgeous Christmas tree. It is beautiful. It's, it's, it's really actually a beautiful tree scent. This is going to be absolutely stunning come Christmas time. So that one is definitely going away to be burned when our fake Christmas tree is out and proud. The next one in that trio, I have a dog hair floating around, is Honeycrisp Orchard. Set notes on this one are Honeycrisp Apple, Sweet Macintosh, Brown Sugar, and Cardamom. So let's take all these off. Honestly, I can probably throw these away at this point, but oh, this one's a little, little um, messy, just a little shaved wax, but red. Mm, that's really pretty. <laughs> For not being an apple lover, he's doing apple. Correct. This smells like a spiced apple, but not spicy. Beautiful red Macintosh with like the cardamom. Yeah, the cart with cardamom. It smells like cardamom reminds me sort of of cinnamon, I guess. But a pretty cinnamon, soft cinnamon, not spicy, not red hot. And a smidge of sweetness from that brown sugar. This is beautiful. I wouldn't call this an outdoorsy scent. I think Honeycrisp Orchard is a bit of a stretch, um, but the label, oh my goodness, gorgeous. Uh, this isn't outdoorsy to me at all. This smells like an apple you picked off the tree and you're getting ready to put it in a pump, in, a, in the apple pie or an apple crisp. 
when you've spiced it up a little bit. It's gorgeous. This is beautiful. This is my type of apple. Ooh, that scent wax everywhere. But yeah, this, this is just, it's yummy. Like it actually smells yummy. That one's really good. Different than the deep dish apple pie. Look, I might actually like that one more. What? It's more bright Macintosh where the other one smells like baked apples. Anyway, this is honey glazed pear. Her lid's a little, her lid. There we go. <laughs> it was a little wonky. Gorgeous, 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 gooey, glazed, like brulee pears. Ugh. This is golden pear, spiced honey, butterscotch, and aged rum. So I was very nervous with the butterscotch and the rum, but I really wanted to try it because I've been burning another candle from a different brand that's honey glazed pear cider, and it's so good. Oh, this is nice. I love the yellow. Ooh, this is really good. That spiced honey, absolutely. Oh my gosh, it really smells like pear. I wouldn't get like a, I don't say like a baked pear per se, but a pear that you've smothered in honey that you've jazzed up. That's what it smells like. I don't get any rum, no booziness. The butterscotch, maybe it's in there. It's giving it that deep, sweet scent, but it is not ooey gooey. It's not overly cloying. It's not overly sweet. It's really, really it's really, really good. <laughs> it's really, really nice and yummy and I kind of want to eat it. A little light on cold, but it smells divine. Divine, I tell you. Love that. Love that. Okay, so that is it for the Country Inn Trio. We're moving our way through, people. It's a long one. All right, on to this side. Whoa. Don't mind me. It sounds like glass breaking, but it's not broken. And I will show you why. I know th this is why. Okay, so I hate these lids. I'm going to show you these. These are the Christmas cupcake. They were originally $50.71. They were on sale for $51.90. Free shipping cash back. So this is the gorgeous hobnail. I love this. This is the hobnail jar. I mean, these are just absolutely beautiful. But then you bring in this guy here, the lid. You put it on, it's beautiful. I love it. But this, I hate this. I hate this so much. It is horrible for me. I don't know why it irritates me so bad, but it does. So these do not have a rubber gasket. It's just straight glass on glass, which makes me nervous because I'm clumsy as all get out. And this is thick glass. This is thick glass. I mean, look at this. It's, it is thick. And then these are thick. I'm so afraid I'm going to smash these one day. I hate I just, I hate that they don't have a rubber gasket on them to keep them secure. I cannot stand, like I put it on and I get nervous. I just, I can't do it because even if like you go to put, like if I'm holding this and I just, I'm holding it still and I'm going to go place it down. That's absurd to me. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't like it at all. You move it even just a little bit and it's making noise and I don't like it. I know it, they're stunning. Oh my God. They're beautiful. I'm not taking that away. I just wish there was a rubber gasket on it. Okay. Moving on to the scent. Christmas cupcake is whipped buttercream, shortbread cake, holiday sprinkles, and warm vanilla. So this is a four wick has plain white wax. Again, gorgeous, like gold brown hobnail. And this is a very, very sweet scent sweet sweet vanilla it smells like icing to me I don't really get like a cupcake vibe oh maybe a smidge but it's mostly that buttercream that I'm smelling the whipped buttercream the shortbread cake holiday sprinkles I don't know what they smell like and warm vanilla it's it's a very sweet icing with a little bit of bakery cake to it it's nice I think it's really pretty I'm gonna I love basic vanilla scents so I know a lot of people are gonna be like well this is just basic vanilla it is but I don't mind that because I like vanilla scents a lot. I think that they're also very, um, they're very appealing to the masses. Like 
I don't really, I've never really had anybody come into my house and be like, oh, it smells like vanilla. You know what I mean? So yeah, these are the wicks on these guys. They look a little thin, but this hobnail glass really is just going to lock in that heat. And I don't, I don't think I'll have any burning problems with these. But yeah, very sweet vanilla scent. A smidge light, but vanilla scents are notoriously light. So that is the duo of... The lid popped off as I'm trying to pick it up. Shocker. That is the duo of Christmas cupcakes. So that's that. They do come packaged nice. The lids ship um, on top of the styrofoam so that they don't break, which is great. But then after you, you know, put them together, you're on your own. <laughs> All right. This is the last duo that I have here. And this is the, I would say fairly infamous. I don't know. People really seem to like it. And it's the hot cider donuts. So this is the duo. This I got on sale for $37.60. I also got a uh, QVC. This was back in August. This, so this I placed the order for when I placed the order for the cinnamon French toast. So this I had a $10 off coupon that QVC threw out. And I these were also free shipping. So my final price for this after the coupon and whatnot was $30.09. So I got two hot cider donuts for less than, well, not less than 30, almost $30, which is like 15 a piece, which is amazing, amazing price, amazing. So yes, hot cider donut. I don't believe that you can get this on QVC anymore. I think it's on wait list, but you can still get it from Ulta and you can still get it from the Homeworks site itself. So, and actually Ulta is a pretty great place to buy them because you can get points and they do free shipping over 35 um, but their shipping department is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Just be forewarned that you probably will get it smashed into bits and pieces. I just bought two from, um, Ulta and they came absolutely obliterated. Horrible shipping. Okay. This is hot cider donut is harvest apple, cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean, and spiced cider. So I'm so hoping that this is like a apple cider donut. I'm not getting much apple. I'm not getting much like cider. Oh, that's a bummer. This smells very, very similar to the sugared beignets, which is fresh in my mind because I'm actually currently burning that now. Yeah, this smells really, really similar. I think I might do like a comparison of these. Hmm. It's slightly different, but I don't get much apple. I don't get much cider I get very like cinnamon sugar fried goodness not greasy but really just a beautiful you know cinnamon sugar scent <sighs> yeah that's kind of a bummer I was really really hoping for what this looks like these gorgeous fluffy cider donuts that you get from the apple orchard these wicks look good a little bit thicker than those last Christmas cupcakes one it says but very, very similar to sugared beignets. So I'm going to have to do a little burn on these guys and see if apple comes out. I don't know. I mean, people love this online, but honestly, it's, it's on cold. It's not that different. Very cinnamon sugar heavy. I mean, and it's got cinnamon sugar in the notes. So I don't know. We're going to have to burn that. I mean, so many people love it. I'm sure that it's a great scent. But uh, do you need both? I don't know. We're going to have to find out if you need both hot cider donut and sugared beignet. So let me know down below if you guys would be interested in like a burn comparison because I have no problems doing that and letting the people know. And that is it. That is everything that I got from QVC when they had their free ship days and they had a coupon and 10% cash back. So yeah, Homeworks. I really do love Homeworks candles. I, I think that they're great. I think that they're, you know, they're worth, they're worth money for sure. Not maybe $50, $60, but like $20 a candle is definitely my max. But I think that they are worth it. They do, they have really, really pretty fragrances. They burn beautifully. They do have some wick issues, but I mean, 
honestly what candle company doesn't at this point so yeah let me know down below if you guys have purchased anything from homeworks if you guys have loved homeworks candles just let a girl know i want to chat with you guys and let me know if you what you want reviews of because i'll be more than happy to review these as i get to burning so let me know i would just want to chat with you guys thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye